Breaking news, a recap. Tonight. Kids who are too smart. Volcanoes we don't care about. Germans in charge. Crime in London. And the weather on Brokeback Mountain. In 1956, two dogged reporters were on assignment in the Bermuda Triangle when the most stereotypical thing that could happen did. Lost in time, forgotten by the world, Wesley New Farmer and Jessica Pratt emerged in 2012 to a new era where the news is more fast-paced and people less credible. Today, they continue their mission as intrepid journalists, always on the search to find the most important news and deliver to you a few days after it actually happens. From one side of the world and another, this is Breaking News, a recap. Hello and welcome to Breaking News, a recap. I'm your host, Wesley Newfarmer, and it seems after a long meeting with HR today, there's an extensive list of things I should no longer say in the workplace, but more on that later. Now it's over to my co-host, that crazy broad, Jessica Pratt. Good to hear the message sunk in, Wesley. Loud and clear, baby cakes, on with the news. An 11-year-old boy from Pakistan is currently being hailed as the world's youngest motivational coach. Hamad Safi, a YouTube star with a huge following, studies up to 12 hours a day and has been labeled little professor by some universities. According to experts, his full potential as an academic won't be realized until he's able to hand in an essay 10 minutes before it's due, go out partying till 4 a.m., and then pass an exam on a diet of only Red Bull and ramen noodles. In volcano news, while the world has been focused on Hawaii, a volcano in Guatemala has erupted in spectacular fashion. The Fuego has claimed the lives of over 100 people. However, because rich people don't holiday in Guatemala, it doesn't seem as important to talk about. Guatemala can now join the other places rich people don't care so much about. Like Syria with those pesky refugees. Pakistan and their lack of clean drinking water. And the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, as the view is currently obstructed by a boat of refugees chilling out till they find a new home. Over now to caption news, the internet went insane with the prospect of guessing what was said between German Chancellor Angela Merkel and Donald Trump at the recent G7 summit. The widely published picture shows Merkel, surrounded by a gang of do-gooders, appearing to give Trump a good old-fashioned dressing down. We here at Breaking News can now announce that we have got a hold of the actual audio tapes from the summit, which we'll play for you now. Donald. Everyone has voted for pizza for lunch. Majority rules. That's how democracy works. Haven't you heard? Just because you win the majority vote doesn't mean you win the game. I'm having KFC. Arschloch. Now to the world of crime. An Australian news crew were mugged this week on the streets of London while in the middle of filing a report. This is just another in a series of recent attacks in central London. Community groups are calling for more severe punishments, such as those of years gone by, when perpetrators faced a penalty of flogging, death, or being shipped to Australia. This week, as part of our ongoing search for a new weather presenter, we welcome on board to audition for the team, Lainey Ahrens. Lainey is president of the Nomads of Movie and Television Enthusiast Society, or as they are better known as, the Nomates. Over to you, Lainey. Thank you, Jessica and Wesley, and here's looking at you, kid. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's winter and it's wet. So for some of you, you're gonna need a bigger boat. In the Northern Hemisphere, climate change is doing its thing. So you may get the feeling that you're not in Kansas anymore. Wait, I'm sorry, Jess, but are you talking to me? No, I'm just drinking my tea. <laughs> are you talking to me? No. Lainey, I'm literally just drinking tea. I just feel we have an opportunity for this to be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. But it seems all you care about is for the truth about the weather. Well, let me tell you something, Jessica. You can't handle the truth. You may think I'm not right for the job, but I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. I have talents, Jessica. I see dead people. Carpe diem, seize the day, and that's all I'm trying to do. I've always depended on the kindness of strangers, but if you cross me, Jessica, the last words you'll ever hear will be, Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. 
Was she talking in just movie quotes? Yeah, it appears so. <clears throat> Boy, Jess, you really know how to find them, don't you? Nobody's perfect. Well, that's all the time we have and all the news there is. If you liked our show, please share amongst your friends. If you didn't, maybe this will help. Instead, the raccoon fled upward as onlookers watched from below and from inside. Tune in next time for more breaking news a few days after it actually happens. Jess, Wesley. did you hear about Kellyanne Conway saying Commander of Cheese instead of Commander in Chief? Yeah, I kind of think that's really what they call him behind his back. Because it's like trying to be cutesy funny, but it isn't actually funny. Commander of Cheese? <laughs> More like Commander of Sleaze. <laughs> See you next week.